Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's matchup between your Brockton Boxers and the visiting European Hilltoppers. Brockton High School would like to take this opportunity to encourage you to display good sportsmanship to everyone involved. Please do your part by showing respect to every spectator, athlete, coach, and official involved in today's contest. Inappropriate behavior or language will not be tolerated and it may result in your removal from the stadium. This game is being played according to the rules of the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. And now for your starting lineups, we are visiting Derby Hilltoppers. Number 12, Zach Massa. Number three, Colin Hargraves. Number, five, number six, Brandon Miranda. Number seven, Rafael Oliveira. Number eight, Christian Souza. Number nine, Cameron Jacob. Number 10, Nicholas Da Silva. Number 14, Jake Silva. Number 17, Paula Pacheco. Number 19, Brian Fernandez. And number 21, Derek Lopes. And now for your starting lineup for your Brockton Boxers. Number one, goalkeeper, Vinicius Neves. Number five, and captain senior forward, Luis Spinola. Number eight, junior midfielder, Kevin Barbosa. Number nine, junior forward, Vanilton Xavier. Number 12, senior captain and defender, Eric Brito. Number 13, senior midfielder, Jalen DeRosa. Number 17, junior defender, Sergio De Silva. Number 18, senior defender, Wilson Lobo. Number 20, senior midfielder, Velvet De Silva. Number 21, senior forward, Henry Matteo. And number 22, senior midfielder, Captain Derek Brito. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please rise, remove your hats, and face the flag as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. And for your convenience, we have restrooms located right underneath the press box. And enjoy the game. Okay, I had to undo this because I thought that you had screwed up my... Ladies and gentlemen! Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Rocky Marciano Stadium, home of the Brockton Boxers. And today, it is a Southeast Conference matchup. As the Durfee Hilltoppers come to town to face the Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the turf on a beautiful afternoon here at Armand Colombo Field. The goaltenders for the Brockton Boxers, it is Vinicius Neves, the senior. For the Hilltoppers, it is Zach Massa. The Hilltoppers wearing their visiting White jerseys, black trim around the red numbers and lettering. The Brockton Boxers in their home black jerseys with red trim around the white numbers and lettering. 
Brockton also going with the starting lineup of Luis Spinola, Kevin Barbosa, Vanilton Xavier, Eric Brito, Jalen DeRosa, Sergio De Silva, Wilson Lobo, Belvic Silva, Henry Matthew, and Derek Brito for the Hilltoppers. Colin Hargraves, Brandon Miranda, Rafael Oliveira, Christian Souza, Cameron Jacob, Nicholas De Silva, Jake Silva, Paulo Pacheco, Brian Fernandez, and Derek Lopes. Brought in to have opening possession. It will be Vanilton Xavier putting it in play. It's joined at midfield by Luis Spinola wearing the co-captain armband. And we're off. Immediately sending it back to Eric Brito on the back line. All three boxer co-captains on the field to start this one. Sent into the middle, taken by Nicholas De Silva of the Hilltoppers. Southeast Conference, a new invention this year. Joining together the big three of Durfee, New Bedford, and Brockton High, along with Bridgewater, Raynham, and Dartmouth. Here's the Milton Xavier. Calming it down very nicely over to number 22, Derek Brito. And it finds its way to Eric Brito. Now it's Sergio De Silva in the middle of the boxer's back line. Brockton playing keep away, sending it all the way back to Vanilton Xavier. It is expected to get rather chilly for the end of this one. A low of 37 degrees they expected after the sun sets tonight. <laughs> and along with that low temperature, the first frost expected tonight, which can only mean one thing. All of those mosquitoes are finally going to die. As much as we here at BCA Sports enjoy listening to newscasts about how many cases of Triple E there have been in the Bay State. Here's Brito on the near sideline, slowing it up now, sent to Kevin Barbosa, loose in front and chipped out by the Hilltoppers. Pump fake on the would have been about a 30 yard shot from dead on. Brito pushed down, no whistle. Now it's Sergio De Silva sending it all the way up before the Hilltoppers send it back towards the boxer side of midfield. Three minutes into this one. Still scoreless between the Hilltoppers and the Boxers. It is hardly cloudy for the start of this one, but also partly sunny. Fifty-six degrees, with the breeze blowing from left to right across the field. Barbosa up to Vanilton Xavier, finding room in the middle. Now it's Luis Spinola trying to force it through to Henry Mathieu, and it is sent out. So take a replay of 
An opportunity for the boxers. Now it's Barbosa in the middle. Finding space and launching a shot that was blocked away by any one of the five hilltoppers that were bunching around that ball. Topper taken down. It's going to be a free kick for the Hilltoppers just inside midfield. Topper on the receiving end of it. Hilltoppers trying to get an offensive opportunity. Working it slowly but surely through midfield. We'll have a throw in from the far sideline. Opportunity for the boxers, a cross and blocked out. Barely able to keep his leg back far enough to grab it. On the Durfee back line was number six, Brandon Miranda. Boxer thrown from the far sideline. Deep throw right into the middle of the box, and the only man there was Rafael Oliveira for the Hilltoppers. Spinola with a shot curving nicely outward, easily saved by Zach Massa. Hilltopper throw in. Brito. Now 
That's Barbosa on the inside. Fox is trying to give it going through the legs of Colin Hargraves. Now taken down, a little shove after the fact. Getting tangled up. It's Jalen DeRosa and one of the Hilltoppers who is down. He looked fine when he was tussling with DeRosa. of it. it is number eight Christian Souza that is down and now he gets up and shows a little forgiveness for DeRosa Souza's going to get looked at on the sideline here substitution is Jacob Bigelow free kick for Brito headed out by the Hilltoppers. Stop by DeRosa, they're going to rule a handball. I thought that got his stomach, but the refs are a lot closer. Free kick from about four yards inside the boxer's side of midfield. A little chip and headed the wrong direction by Rafael Oliveira. Now Barbosa with a lot of room to run, chipping it up to number 21, Henry Mathieu. And it's cleared out of play by Cameron Jacob of the Hilltoppers, throw in for Brockton. One popped up, Mathieu pressuring on the far side. sent back to Vinicius Neves. Headed back by Jacob of the Hilltoppers. Now it is Nicholas De Silva. De Silva losing it in the middle. on the near side ledge, trying to create some space. Durfee preventing that, and now going for a run is number 17 of the Hilltoppers. His shot easily saved by Neves. That's Paulo Pacheco.
Hilltopper down on the far side is number 21, Derek Lopes. Kick all the way through to Neves. He easily grabs it. About 15 minutes into the first half here. Still scoreless between the Hilltoppers and the Boxers. Sub is Christian Souza coming back in. He replaces Jacob Bigelow. This one trickling all the way down and out of play. Boxer throwing. Throwing for the boxers on the far side. Stopped by that Massa. Pushing the back of DeRosa. No call. Now it's Brito on the near sideline. Barbosa giving it right back to Brito. Brito tripped up, and there'll be a free kick for Brockton. one sent up ahead for Barbosa spinning it nicely Barbosa with a little bit of room his shot goes wide he shanked it off the inside of his foot This one a little bit too far for Xavier out of play. Goal kick for the Hilltoppers.
Set back to Neves. Neves kind of sends it over to Belvic Silva. That's Brito. Milton Xavier in the middle. Some nice control, but ultimately losing it to Nicholas De Silva. Chasing it down is Sergio De Silva, making sure that no Hilltopper got to it in play. Now the ref coming to move the Brockton throwing about 10 yards back. Halfway through the first half, still scoreless between the Hilltoppers and the Boxers. Brockton's had more opportunities. Silva over to Sergio Da Silva. That's Barbosa in the middle. He Lost it, but picked up by Derek Brito. Brito can't get his leg on it mid-air, so it falls out of play. It's being over the back against Durfee, but it's off of the head of Paulo Pacheco, Brockton throwing. Brito took that one about 10 yards north of where that one went out of play. Durfee thrown right in front of the Brockton bench, taking it as number nine, Cameron Jacob. <laughs> A shot easily stopped by Neves, who rolls it quickly back in play. You're going to call it. A handball on Durfee on the far side. Tough to see exactly what happened. But the Durfee player was on all fours over the ball. <laughs> Sent back to Neves once again. Now an opportunity, numbers up field for the boxers. A step ahead of it was Luis Spinola who tried launching a shot, blocked away, but Brockton still with it. On the far side chasing it down is Henry Mathieu. His cross off the head of Xavier, but a little bit under it. So it went all the way back to Derek Brito. Brito now to Eric who puts it through the football uprights. Good no-look pass from Derek to Eric. <laughs> Jalen DeRosa fighting for it. A little bit of body bumping there, no foul called. Now it's Spinola. Lost it out of play, but off of Durfee.
Rosa trying to pop it over the top to Spinola, who didn't know where it ended up. Loose. The goalie's down, and it ultimately is going to go into the outside of the apron. Out of play. Luis Spinola, as we take a look at that, he went off the side of his head on the clearing attempt, and then he got tangled up with the goalie, Massa, and ultimately just spinning it just a bit wide. It's going to be a Brockton free kick. And there's a boxer slow to get up. It is the senior co captain, Derek Brito. Sent in, headed out, but a push against Brockton. Offsides against Durfee. Tapping it over now, it's Eric Brito. Barbosa pushing as he was in midair. And it's going to ultimately be offsides against Luis Spinola. It might have been a little bit of a makeup call for the no push. Sides against the boxers had Durfee's back line not taken that. Now with 11 minutes to go here in the first half, still scoreless between the Southeast Conference rivals, the Durfee Hilltoppers and the Brockton Boxers. A couple of opportunities early on in this first half for Brockton, not much since then. Getting tripped up and down, it'll be a free kick 
falling just outside of the box. That's number 10 on the far side. Really, it's Wilson Lobo, number 18, down in the corner. Free kick just outside the box, just about a corner kick, short punched out by Massey, not out of trouble yet. And a push against the Brockton boxers. Giovanni Martin's getting ready to come into the game for Brockton. The opportunity, the shot is going to go well out wide of its intended target. Now a Brockton throwing in front of the Durfee bench. It's Lucas Fernandez on the opportunity for the boxers. Brockton throwing on the far side, Martins. That's Kevin Barbosa back to Jalen DeRosa. Now an opportunity for the boxers broken up. It was Martins, now Barbosa popping one up. Could be trouble. And it's picked off by Zach Massa. Sent back to Neves now with 7.45 to go. It's a dirty free kick from about 35 yards out from net. Vinicius Neves trying to line up the boxer wall that is now getting counted off. They're going to have to move back about six inches. They required 10 yards. Direct kick through the uprights, no good. Majority of the work being done for Brockton is in midfield. The cross attempt broken up nicely by number 17. The shot off of the loose ball on that attempt is saved by Neves. Sergio De Silva doing some good work defensively there for Brockton. That's Lucas Fernandez trying to get through 
two Hilltoppers. Able to get it back to Eric Brito. Sent back Neves ultimately is going to take it. It was off the mark for De Silva. Now De Silva over to Belvic Silva. Belvic. Throw up for Lucas Fernandez. Over to Jalen DeRosa. DeRosa trying to go high over the middle. It is headed back by Cameron Jacob. All the way back in on Neves who picks it up and rolls it over to Belvic Silva. Giovanni Martins on the far side. Martins back to Brito, over to number six. That's Christian Santos. Santos was trying to find Eric Brito through some traffic. It was intercepted by Durfee. Colin Hargraves. Dorosa popping it up. Headed down and pushed, no call. Now it's Eric Brito. Or Derek Brito, excuse me. Here's Lucas Fernandez. Santos up for Fernandez. Now across. Now it's Giovanni Martins trying to turn the corner. His shot goes high and just a little bit wide with four minutes to go. Cool kick coming for Zach Massa. Junior goalkeeper for the Hilltoppers. <laughs> Three minutes to go. Free kick for Durfee on their side of midfield. Scrapping for it is Brito out of play. Free kick for Durfee from about 25 yards out from the net. Blocked away by the Brockton midfield. Eric Brito recovering. Now Jalen DeRosa surrounded by Hilltoppers. Out of play off of Durfee. Slipping down was number nine, Cameron Jacob. 
out of play off of Durfee. Well upfield. Eric Brito throwing it to Lucas Fernandez, back to Brito. High pop up into the middle, looking for Giovanni Martins, doesn't connect. Not much time. There's a boxer down on the far side, but play continues. A shot. Now Lucas Fernandez coming up with it. Fernandez crossed and cleared out by Durfee. The whistles blow. The first half has come to an end. Still scoreless between Southeast Conference rival the Durfee Hilltoppers and the Brockton Boxers at the halfway point. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. Hello and welcome back into Rocky Marciano Stadium for second half action between the Durfee Hilltoppers and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the turf here in a scoreless matchup between Southeast Conference rivals. The artist formerly known as the Big Three Durfee wearing their visiting white jerseys, red shorts, black trim around the red numbering and the Boxers in their home, black jerseys, black shorts, red trim around the white numbers and lettering. Durfee will have opening possession to start this second half. A couple of opportunities to speak for for Kevin Barbosa and Vanilton Xavier. Other than that, the Boxers have been fairly quiet offensively. The Hilltoppers only have a couple of shots on net. The goaltenders, when tested, have been strong. Zach Massa for the Hilltoppers and Vinicius Neves for the Boxers. Massa with it now wearing the all blue goalies uniform for the Hilltoppers. Vinicius Neves on the other side of the sheet wearing neon green and blue. It is getting progressively colder as we go on here. It started at about 62 degrees. It is now 55 with a breeze blowing from left to right across your screen. Vanilton Xavier pressuring and Massa charges out and dives on it. An early opportunity in the second half for Brockton. Let's take another look at that one. It was Vanilton Xavier, number nine for the Boxers. Just couldn't catch up to it and having to jump over the diving Zach Massa. And over the end line, a goal kick for the Hilltoppers. Boxers, back mids, and defensive line have been phenomenal in this game so far. Led on the back end by Sergio De Silva. Now a long shot is going to go high and wide. De Silva trying to get it all the way up to Xavier. That's Lucas Fernandez. Trying to go back heel and tapped out by number 14, Jake Silva of the Hilltoppers. Christian Santos with it now. Sending it back to 
De Silva. Santos to De Rosa. Now Lucas Fernandez trying to chase it down in the corner. His cross is broken up. And it's cleared back upfield by the Hilltoppers. De Silva heading it back. Deeper into Hilltopper territory. Now it's Barbosa that was running to from behind. Rather that was Giovanni Martins. Now Xavier on the far side. Benilton Xavier's shot was partially blocked by number seven, Rafael Oliveira. And Massa picks it up. Coach Herminio Furtado trying to build up the Brockton program after that state championship in his second season a couple of seasons ago. Phenomenal ride that season was Brockton going undefeated up until the very final game on the road in New Bedford and then just tearing it up in the playoffs. Ultimately getting the 5-2 victory against Long, 5-3 uh, victory, excuse me, against Longmeadow in the state title game. Always a senior heavy roster. Sixteen seniors on this roster for Herminio Furtado, including two of the three goalkeepers, along with Vinicius Neves. George Cheritakis is also a senior, leaving Brendan Deleuze to start next year. There's a hilltopper down right at the 30-yard line of the football markings. One final game this week here at Marciano Stadium for BCA Sports. Tomorrow afternoon, the Brockton Lady Boxers will battle against the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals in the battle for Brockton. Xavier clearing it all the way out, about 20 rows deep into the bleachers on the far side. You're throwing deep in Botcher territory now. Griffin might go wide with it. They indeed do. Not able to launch a quick shot. But still with a little bit of room. They cross and the shot didn't get any mustard on it. Out of play goal kick for the boxers. one popped 
high up on a play onto the Harry C. Allen track here surrounding Armand Colombo Field. Now Xavier trying to chase it down. It's Lucas Fernandez stealing it in the middle, trying to pop it to Xavier, who's going to be whistled off sides. Zach Massa to kick this one away for the Hilltoppers. Headed back by Kevin Barbosa. Free kick for Durfee right about at midfield. Giovanni Martin's the one man wall for Brockton. High over the top. No hilltopper in the immediate area, headed back out by Vanilton Xavier. Just about 10 minutes into the second half, still scoreless. Lucas Fernandez. Now it's Martins, back to Xavier. Christian Santos off of one of the hilltoppers, now trying to chase it down on the other end is Santos. And a good effort by Sergio De Silva to chase that one out of play. Martin's in front, couldn't get a shot off immediately, but still pressure, he's pushed down from behind. They're gonna call that against Martins. He was definitely pushed from behind. It was a free kick for the Hilltoppers that is promptly taken over by Christian Santos and the Boxers. Now another free kick from midfield as being pushed down was number five, or number six, Brendan Miranda. Martin's on the far side up for Kevin Barbosa. And back to Santos. Santos a little bit too far up for Martins. Now sent over the top. That would have been off sides had Felicis Neves not charged way out of his net to make a play on that ball before the refs got to their whistle. Lucas Fernandez, Christian Santos out to Fernandez in the corner. His cross is going to go above the net out of play. A hearty round of applause for the Brockton Substitutions, Maria Dos Santos and number 11, Danny Resende, both seniors. Fair place, Eric Brito 
and Wilson Loba. De Silva. He sends it back to Neves. Now back up for Belovic Silva on the far side. Barbosa sending it to the outside. Now it's Gio Martins. Martins pushed down. Christian Santos with it. The ref rules fair play and the shot goes in on Massa who makes the easy stop. Spinning with it, Certainly trying to send it up, forcing it through, but broken up by Oliveira. Spinola with it again, a shot, and a save by Mass off his hands, and down into the turf, grabbing the rebound opportunity. Spinola might have tweaked something there. Popping on his left leg. It's Kevin Barbosa. Over to Gio Martins. Martins losing it. But Belvic Silva in the area of the ball that was trickling back towards the boxer back line. Now Jalen DeRosa. DeRosa up for Mario Dos Santos. Dos Santos back to. DeRosa over to Santos. <laughs> DeRosa pressuring. It's going to be taken by Vinilton Xavier on the far side. He sends one up looking for Spinola. It goes wide and out of play. Ethan Machado into the game for the Hilltoppers. He replaces Brian Fernandez. Jacob Bigelow getting ready to come in for the Hilltoppers as well. Xavier in the middle. Now it's Barbosa over to DeRosa. Santos. Spinola. Back up for Spinola, able to get it down, a shot and a goal! Luis Spinola with a phenomenal effort after it was pushed down. And the boxers draw first blood with 23.50 remaining in the second half. That was all Luis Spinola. The assist going to Vanilton Xavier on that goal. He popped it up just enough to get Spinola's, the outside of Spinola's left foot. And then recovering as it was starting to spin out of control and launching a shot that beat Massa to the lower right corner. It's going to be a throw in as Brockton is lobbying for a corner kick. One official ruled that it was a corner kick, overruled by the one that was 40 yards away from the play, so it'll be a throw in. Deep throw into the box, headed down, and Durfee able to clear out at least for the moment. Spinola, the senior tri captain. The only goal scorer in this one so far. Yeah. 
Lewis assisted by Benelta. Bad Brockton goals for by Lewis Spinola. And assisted by Benelta and Xavier in the final fourth minute of the second half. Now to the far side. Barbosa picking up the loose garbage on the sideline. There's a boxer down the cross. Goes into the outside of the apron. Goal kick from Massa. Dos Santos back to Sergio Da Silva. Da Silva over to Belvic Silva. Now it's Spinola turning on it. Luis Spinola, his cross broken up, but it will be a corner kick for the Brockton Boxers. Rafael Oliveira getting in the way of that cross attempt for Luis Spinola. Barbosa going in short, getting it right back. His shot is going to go wide and out of play. Now with 20 minutes to go. Opportunity and a goal! Giovanni Martins assisting Vanilton Xavier on that one. Martins snuck behind the Hilltoppers back line. And the cross was perfect. Nice celebration by Vanilton Xavier. That's a chip shot for Vanilton Xavier. In a timeout called by Durfee with 19.29 remaining. What a string of a couple of minutes for the boxers. So goal for Luis Spinola, goal for Vanilton Xavier. Assists in no particular order for Vanilton Xavier and Giovanni Martins. So the boxers take a two goal lead. Boxers finally able to break through what was, I'm sure, a very frustrating first half. And scoring two goals in about six minutes. 19.29 remaining. And the boxers trying to keep the pressure up. Durfee trying to stop the bleeding, calling that timeout. Gio Martins 
Back and forth with Barbosa, Vinilton Xavier. Now Jalen DeRosa up for Barbosa on the far side. Speeding up is number 11, his cross attempt and a bicycle attempt for Luis Spinola trying to get on the top plays of the week with a bicycle kick. Now it's Barbosa. Machado clearing it up and Sergio De Silva stepping up on it. Would have been a two on one now. Picked up by Massa with the boxers smelling blood in the Durfee zone. Quick restart and Durfee lifts on the opportunity, sending it all the way in on Vinicius Neves. That's Mario Dos Santos, the senior defender. Up to Derek Brito. Brito keeping his balance, still with it. Up ahead for Luis Spinola, can he catch up to it? It's shielded out of play, goal kick for the Hilltoppers with just under 18 minutes to go. Xavier now Martins in the middle, back to Vinilton Xavier. He tried launching a shot that was blocked away by number nine, Cameron Jacob. Brockton still pressuring. Another shot and a diving stop by Massa. That one coming off of the boot of Giovanni Martins. Have a look at that shot and the save by Zach Massa. Massa really didn't have a chance on the first two Brockton goals. The second of which was the cross from Gio Martins to Vanilton Xavier who just had a chip shot. He was loose three yards out from net and he could have picked any direction and put it home but finishing it in style going top shelf. Xavier in the middle. He launches a long shot. That's going to go well wide towards the corner. Xavier going for a tumble. Quick restart for the boxers. Trying to get some transition. And Spinola in front of the Brockton bench. He's sent in for Gio Martins a little bit too far ahead. Zach Massa picks it up for the Hilltoppers and sends it back towards midfield. Neves. Sent up ahead, deflecting off of one of the hilltoppers, loose, and Massa was down, able to recover, but Brockton still with it. Luis Spinola in the corner, his cross in on Massa, turns into a shot and it's picked up by the senior goalkeeper for the Hilltoppers with 14 and a half minutes to go.
Down in the corner, and a discussion between the ref and one of the hilltoppers. It was Kevin Barbosa being pushed down on the far side. That's where the boxer free kick will come from. Pretty decent angle. It's going to be taken by Denny Resende. Zendi's kick curving inward and headed in. It's going to be Belvic Silva on the goal for Brockton. Let's take a look at that. It was Danny Rezendi perfectly into the box and headed down by Belvic Silva. The boxers take a 3-0 lead with 12 and a half to go. So 3-0 boxers just north of 12 minutes to go. Scoring very spread out. Three goals in no particular order. Luis Spinola, Vanilton, Xavier, and Belvic Silva. Three assists, which is rare for the boxers, usually getting unassisted goals. But Vanilton, Xavier, Danny Resende, and Giovanni Martins, as this one is sent up and over the Durfee net. The hilltopper tripped down on the far side. Extra ball on the field. Free kick for the hilltoppers from. 39 yard line of the football markings. This one sent ahead now, chasing it down is number 21, Henry Matthew. Now it's Spinola, his shot might be trouble. Massa able to grab it just over his head. Boxers opening it up here in the second half. Their first goal coming with 26 minutes remaining. And since then, it has been all boxers. That's the Milton Xavier. Xavier working his way to the middle, and it's going to be broken up by number 18 who is thankful. Jacob Bigelow getting back on defense. Corner kick for the boxers a little bit too far. And 
losing his footing was Derek Brito. Nine minutes to go here in the second half, getting tripped up from behind is number eight, Christian Souza, free kick for the Hilltoppers. And a rule of throw in. Boxes promptly take possession back. It is Mario Dos Santos. Another opportunity for the boxers, the cross. A few steps too many for Henry Matthew. It'll be a corner kick from the far side, the service incoming from Danny Resende. placed right into the awaiting mitts of Zach Massa. Boxers really trying to extend their lead here with just under eight minutes to go. Nisius Neves has not been tested much this game. I think Durfee's got three shots on net throughout the first 70 plus minutes of this one. Now it's Matthew on the far side. Running into a couple of hilltoppers and cleared out Brockton throwing. This will be a corner kick for the boxers from the far corner. Resendi to take it for Herminio Furtado's squad. Resendi in and headed in. It's another goal for the boxers. I believe number 17 got his head on that one. That would be Sergio De Silva. Let's take a look at that replay. Excellent service by Resendi. And it was indeed Sergio De Silva getting that goal. Assisted. Assisted by Danny Resende on the corner kick. 4-0 boxers. Really opening up and Danny Resende has really awakened as a corner kick expert. Santos over his head for Eric Brito into the Durfee bench, throwing for the Hilltoppers. Durfee throwing in front of their own bench. It's 
the back of the head of number 15, Junior Xavier. DeRosa over the top looking for Resendi offsides. Official time kept on the field. Five, just under five minutes to go. Gage about three and a half. Now Durfee has another opportunity broken up by number 17, Sergio De Silva. He's got to be the defensive player of the game for the boxers. Meanwhile, there is a boxer down on the far side. It is their other defenseman, Belvic Silva. Silva laboring, favoring that right leg. Belvic Silva hasn't moved much. He's paced forward about five yards. And very clearly limping. Vinicius Neves now 30 yards out of his net, yelling at the Brockton sideline that there's an injured boxer on the field. Looks like Silva wants to try to play through this. Now an opportunity is blocked out by Massey. It'll be a corner kick from the near side. Corner kick. That's <laughs> Belvic Silva. Henry Matthew in the middle. Not much time here to go with a 4 0 boxer lead. Is Junior Xavier. Rosendi taking it on the far side. He's cross. And another goal. A beautiful cross. Eric Brito on the goal from Danny Rosendi. The cross from Rosendi. And headed in nicely. Benny Ribeiro on that goal. Great confirmation. It was number 19, Benny Ribeiro on the goal. And another assist to Danny Rizendi. That's Rizendi's second assist of the day. The whistles blow. This one has come to an end. Your final score, five nothing. The boxers coming alive. It was scoreless until there were 26 minutes remaining in the second half and that is when Luis Spinola did some magic in front of the net and put home the first of what turned into many Brockton goals.
The five Brockton goals in no particular order. Luis Spinola, Vinilton Xavier, Sergio De Silva, Benny Ribeiro, and Belvic Silva. The assists, two for Danny Rosendi, Vinilton Xavier with one. Giovanni Martins with an assist as well. The player of the game has to be Sergio De Silva, breaking up any and all Durfee opportunities. And he added a goal just for good measure. The junior defender doing it all for the boxers today. 5-0 your final score from Marciano Stadium. The Brockton Boxers getting the victory over the Southeast Conference Division rivals, the Durfee Hilltoppers. For everyone here at BCA Sports, our producer and director, Phil Philippides, and Mike the Postman Simmons with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.